Are you moving to Louisville, Kentucky and looking for a great suburb to live in? Maybe you want all the amenities of the city, but you don't want to be so close to the city. Well, if you're looking for a vibrant suburban feel in Louisville, Kentucky, then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Jefferson Town, Kentucky. Welcome back. I'm Katie Skeen, a local realtor here in Louisville, Kentucky. And on my channel, we discuss everything related to moving to and living in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you're interested in more information about Louisville, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then of course, ring that little bell so that you'll be notified every week when I have a new video coming out. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of Louisville's largest suburbs, Jefferson Town, Kentucky. So let's jump right in. The first thing you need to know about Jefferson Town, Kentucky is you need to know that we locals here in Louisville refer to it as J-Town. If you refer to it as Jefferson Town, people might not even know what you're talking about, but you'll definitely identify yourself as an outsider. It's just sort of easier to say J-Town and everybody here will know what you're talking about. J-Town is one of those funny cities that we have in Louisville that is a rural class city where we have a city within a city. So when you're in J-Town, you're going to be paying J-Town taxes, but you're also still going to be paying your Jefferson County taxes as well. J-Town is actually our largest city outside of Louisville. It has a population of 28,671 as of 2021. The median income of a household in J-Town is $70,951 annually. And most importantly, J-Town has everything you want or need in a suburban setting. It has parks, it has restaurants, it has a really cute little downtown area. It has both public and private schools. And then of course it has churches as well. I think a lot of people move out to J-Town because they're wanting a little bit more affordability in their home. They're wanting to be a little bit further outside of downtown. Maybe they want um, more of a feeling of safety and security. I think that J-Town has to offer with their police department. And so a lot of individuals and families are really flocking to J-Town for these reasons. Let's take a look at what housing has to offer you out in J-Town. There are 11,572 households within J-Town. This makes it our largest suburb in Louisville. 67.6% .6 of those are owner occupied, meaning that the person that lives in that house actually owns the house. So obviously there's a great deal of rentals out in J-Town as well, but the majority do own their homes. As of September 2022, the median sales price for a home in J-Town is $270,000. So this price point is fairly affordable for most people. So I went ahead and pulled up all the houses that are currently listed on the market in J-Town. You'll see here on our list that our least expensive price point is this $220,000 house and the price points in J-Town go all the way up to $895,000. So there is a wide range and everything in between of what is available in J-Town. So if we just want to pull up this listing here, this is kind of um, the lower end of the price point of what you're going to see. This is a three bedroom, two bath house. This is what you can expect to find um, from a house at this price point in J-Town. Okay, let's take a look at more of a middle of the road house. So if we go to more of the $400,000 price point, here we have one on Bristol Oaks. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, so it's quite a bit bigger, 2,121 square feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pictures. And lastly, if we look at this one on Dove Point, this has been completely brand new build here. It is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. It's in Dove Point Estates and it has 3,828 square feet. It is a new build and it is absolutely gorgeous. So now that you've seen kind of what the housing market has to offer, I want to tell you about some of the events that J-Town has. They do have a farmer's market and then they also have so many festivals. Now, if you love festivals, J-Town might be the place for you. If you live in J-Town and you've gone to one of the festivals, will you please comment below and let us know which one is your favorite? I'm going to tell you about a couple of them here, but man, do these people love their fest. The first one of the year is Easter Fest. If you want to see the Easter Bunny, get a picture, have an Easter egg hunt, then this is the festival for you. The next festival is called Summer Fest. This is a community-wide festival that includes a movie, fireworks, and other fun community summertime events. 
The next festival is actually their biggest festival. It's called the Gaslight Festival. It happens annually in September and it's kind of their unofficial way to start fall. They have events leading up to the festival. They actually have a parade and a balloon glow. So this is one of their treasured and cherished festivals that happens each year. People really look forward to it. And actually people even outside of J-Town come to be able to go to that festival. And then lastly is their pumpkin fest. I told you these people like fests and festivals. So the pumpkin fest is actually an alternative to trick or treating. So you can come down to Gaslight Square, kind of this historic part of J-Town and your kids can go trick or treating, can decorate pumpkins and can enjoy all those kinds of fall Halloween type activities. The last thing I wanted to make sure that you know is that J-Town has an amazing restaurant scene. Now, some people think you have to be down on Bardstown Road which is known as our Restaurant Row or in Nulu or downtown to really get great restaurants. But I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite restaurants have locations out in J-Town. The ones that I wanna be sure you know about would be Muscle and Burger Bar, Taco Luchador, Feast Barbecue, and then Rec Bar. Rec Bar is located right in their little downtown area. A lot of these restaurants have actually been um, developed and come up here in the last five to 10 years. So. It's interesting when I first moved to Louisville, it's been almost 12 years ago now, people did not want to move to J-Town and it kind of had a negative reputation. I'm not sure why, but people just said it was kind of a suburb that was dying out. But in the last 10 years, it has been totally rejuvenated and revitalized. All of these great shops and restaurants have gone out there in their downtown area. And it has all the amenities that I would want. I mean, it has great, prices for housing, it has great places to eat, it has all of these community festivals and activities to go to. So I think it's a great option to consider if you're looking to move to Louisville, Kentucky. Well, I hope you found this video helpful on one of our favorite suburbs in Louisville, Kentucky, Jefferson Town, Kentucky. If you're wanting to live closer to the city and you need more information about some of those areas, be sure to check out my video about the Highlands or my favorite suburb of Louisville close to the city is Audubon Park. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.